Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am John Armstrong and in this video we're going to be uh, building a sim racing PC slash game PC. So if you're interested in how that's done, don't go anywhere. So whenever you're going to build a PC, the first thing that you have to do is select all the components for the PC. Um, and that's one of the trickiest things um, if you have no PC knowledge is trying to pick the right components. Um, so let's just take a quick look at the PC we're building. This one is for a friend of mine um, who had a budget and we've stuck to that budget. So let's um, see all the components that is needed. So let's start off with the basics as that's just fallen. Um, so you need a PC tower and motherboard. Now the motherboard needs to be compatible with your processor so you need in this case we've got an amd ryzen 5 amd ryzen 5 3600 so you just need to make sure that that's compatible with your motherboard you can um, check what processors the motherboard is compatible with on their website one of the most important things with a gaming PC is obviously the graphics card. In this case, we went for a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060, um, which is a pretty nice little graphics card um, and fitted in with the budget. You also need a power supply to power everything. RAM, um, we've got eight gigs of RAM this time. You'll need a hard drive, we've got an SSD. So we begin off with the motherboard. Um, comes in an anti-static bag. So you want to take the motherboard out. Um, you can just handle it once it's in the bag, no problem. Um, you just got a bunch of other things, manuals, um, some wires and stuff we'll use in a minute. We want to take the motherboard out of the bag nice and carefully. Try not to touch the uh, circuit board itself when you're doing this. Always try to touch a plastic part if you can. You're just gonna slide it off like that. We can touch this plastic part. That's it off. I'm just gonna set it on top of the bag again. Like that. We've got a bunch of different uh, slots. Um, we install different components on the motherboard. This is where the CPU processor is going to go. Um, so what we need to do is just pull up this little latch like that. And then to install the processor, um, one thing you keep in mind is you will have a little arrow in a corner. You'll just see it there. That arrow will match up to an arrow on the corner of the processor. So that's how you know the orientation of it is correct. So this is the processor. Do not touch the rear of it at all with all the pins, because um, you can damage the pins, so avoid touching that. All you want to do is just hold it here and here. I'll avoid any damage. You can see the little arrow is just there, just in the bottom right, a little, it's hard to see, but that has to line up with the uh, arrow on the motherboard. All you need to do is just drop it in. So, as you can see, we're just dropping it into place. It'll fall in place like that. And then to secure it in place, we're gonna pull this little latch down. And that is the processor installed, as easy as that, guys. Next thing we're gonna do is install the CPU fan, which is comes with the CPU. We're just using the standard one, AMD one that comes with the processor. So you'll have like two little plastic things that sit on the um, install locations for the screws of the uh, fan. So you just want to remove these. You see, this is the fan, the uh, radiator, I would call it. Um, this comes with, already comes with thermal paste applied on it. Now it's just a case of tightening up the screws. Um, just make sure you got them lined up beforehand though. It's always good to do this diagon diagonally as well. So start with that side, then go to the opposite one, tighten that up a little bit. Just do a little bit at a time. Yeah. 
Yeah, and they will just stop once you get them fully tightened. Don't tighten them too hard, you'll be able to feel it. Um, and then we'll just plug in the CPU fan, which goes here, just like that. And that's the CPU installed. Next we'll install the RAM. Um, this is a DDR4, which is good to get that type because it's the fastest type currently. This is the RAM stick, I'm going to call it. Um, quite small. It's deeper here and then goes gradually shallower towards the outside. Um, how you know to put it in the right way, you'll see just here there's a little bit uh, missing from the slots. Now we have four up to four slots on the motherboard to install RAM on. And how you know which ones are preferred, you'll see just in here, we've got DIMM A1, A2, B1, B2. You can see that the first two preferred have a little star beside it. So we're gonna install, we're only installing one, so we'll install that on A2, which, is this one and what you do is you open up this little you open this little clip see we've got four we open the one we want this little bit here is where the empty slot needs to fit in so that little bit of emptiness needs to go in to line up with this little empty bit in the slot i always go with the side opposite to the clip first as you can see and then you just push it down in quite stiff sometimes to push it down in but once it's in the clip here will close back over and that's how you know it's properly installed guys that's the ram installed no problem at all let's move on to the next part which will be installing the motherboard inside of the tower and as you can see you've got these holes all the way around the motherboard. I think there's nine um, and they will line up with, you just see it through the glass there, there's like little black threaded parts that help the motherboard just sit out a little bit from the side. For the case, you want to take off um, both side panels. So you just screw them off and I'll just Pops off like that, set that somewhere safe. We pop that side panel off as well and set that somewhere safe. So guys, we're gonna install the motherboard. Basically, these wires are for the front panel for the USB 3s, the power button and the microphone slash headphones. So just move these out of the way. And then we're gonna install the motherboard onto these screws and I'll show you it installed afterwards but it's very simple just line them up also the screws for installing the motherboard with you will get these along with the PC tower you see there's a whole array of different screws cable ties so just find the ones that uh, suit the thread type. Be careful when you're installing the motherboard that you don't bang it off anything or you know damage anything on the board itself. Be, just be very careful. Try to get it in there without touching anything. Pretend you are playing a game of Operation. <laughs> So that is the motherboard installed. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. And that's how easy it is to install it. On the motherboard, you will see little pin connections for the fans. You can see that's chassis fan one here 
So we can install a chassis fan there and there are other ones throughout the motherboard. You can see another one just here. So that's where you hook them up to the motherboard. Now we're going to install the graphics card which is very easy and where we're going to be installing this is on a PCIe slot and um, we'll go with this first one again we've got a little, little clip just here we're going to push that back so similar to the motherboard don't touch anything apart from the plastic or the metal um, this part here needs to go out the back of the chassis through one of these slots here uh, we remove one of those by taking out a screw which we will figure out just now. We need to remove a little plastic seal, a little cover, um, exposes the slot, the pin, pins. Um, and what we need to do is quickly just position this in place and figure out which. We need to go off this one and this one. Just take out the screw. This allows us to have the graphics card ports, the HDMI display just out the back of the tower. With all the card, you just push it into this slot. So we're going to line it up and all we need to do is just push it into the slot and then click into place. Put the screws back in here. One screw going in here, just like that, up here. That's pretty much the graphics card installed. We just need to put the power supply into it once we install the power supply, which is our next thing to do. We don't have too long to go now, guys. Um, it's just really power supply, uh, the hard drive, and it's just tidy the wires. So the hard drive is quite simple. This is the hard drive. So we've got the SATA plug here that goes to the motherboard and this here is for the power supply. Just plug the SATA in there. And we're actually gonna SSD onto this uh, little holder which sits in here. So you got four screws. You can screw into this little plastic holder. It just holds the SSD in place, stops it from getting shaken around. It's always good to keep these things mounted as solid as you can. So we just screw in the four screws and then I'll show you where to, uh, where to wire it into the motherboard. So guys, the SSD plugs into one of the SATA slots on the motherboard I've installed here. There are six in total on this motherboard, but some, have, some motherboards have less than that. Also, I don't think it really matters which one you install or plug it into. Any of them should be fine. So guys, a few more steps. Just installed the USB 3 plug onto the motherboard, which goes to the front panel here. Um, also, HDI audio. I've installed that on the motherboard as well, which goes to the front panel. And also the power switch um, for the front panel. These can be a bit tricky because um, you've got quite a lot of pins to play with in there, but just refer to your motherboard manual for that. So guys, on to one of the final steps, which is installing your power supply unit. Um, this obviously plugs into your house uh, electric plug and supplies the computer and all of its components with um, the power it needs to function. So the main things that we need, we obviously need plug installed to power the motherboard, SSD drive, one for the processor, and then we've got a PCIe which will power the graphics card, this one. But once I have those installed, I will show you. So guys, that's it, pretty much done now. Um, we installed the power supply unit. It's got four screws that uh, mounted onto the chassis and it comes out the back and um, that's where your power plug goes into then we've got all the power supply wires coming out we've got this big one that goes in and plugs into the motherboard here and um, we've got another one up here for the cpu power and then we've got 
the graphics card one here, which is a PCIe. We just pop that back in. So yeah guys, that's basically it. How to build a game PC um, slash sim racing PC. Pretty easy, um, anyone can do it. I am no expert at it, but I know how to do it, know how to get it done. Hopefully you found today's video helpful. All that's left to do, pop back on the side panels, um, cover all this up again, um, and then we need to boot the system up and install Windows operating system, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I've got lots of sim racing content. Um, if that's what you're into, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.